and killed last week is now speaking to 23 ABC for the very first time. His daughter spoke to 23 ABC's Laura Acevedo and tells us the retired dentist knew about the kidnapping of those three people last week, but never thought it would end the way it did. Still in shock over the death of her father and the ongoing manhunt in Weldon, David Lewis Markiewicz's daughter remembered him today as someone who was always willing to help. My dad was the most wonderful man I could have known. There is, um, there is no one like my dad. Markiewicz would regularly visit the cabin in Weldon, but recently when his family didn't hear from him, they thought maybe he had fallen and hurt himself. Markiewicz was later found dead inside that cabin, KCSO looking for his killer ever since. It feels like I'm in a horrible movie. It feels like every day I'm saying my lines, like even this is so surreal. It's like you go about your everyday things because you need to. Kurt is thankful law enforcement has not given up on their search for this killer and are confident they will find him. But the fact that they are being relentless, that Sheriff Youngblood is determined to get this man, the amount of counties and the amount of forces that are out there right now blows me away. Dr. Markiewicz and his family lived in Tehachapi for much of his life, and his daughter says the community's support has been incredible. The support of meals and flowers and just cards and donations. Um, I know my dad's going to end up, they're going to do a scholarship fund for my dad um, in lieu of flowers at the service. Markiewicz is survived by his wife, his daughter, and two sons and their grandchildren. His services will be held on Sunday, August 23rd at 2 p.m. at Christian Life Assembly in Tehachapi. Laura Acevedo, 23ABC.